Hello everybody, welcome to another Cables tutorial. My name is Tom on Cables, my name is Pandur and uh, today I want to talk about subpatch ops. So subpatch ops or patching your own ops is a new feature brought to you with the February 2024 release. So this is our latest update and it brings this uh, awesome feature and we think it's it's really important for Cables and how you create your patches and so on. So. If you want to read about it, you can go to blog.cablesgl and read all about the release. Okay, let's get right into it. So <clears throat> in this patch, I created this little button here. So when I hover it, uh, you see this little animation. Um, this is made with an HTML element. And for example, when I uh, disconnect this, it will disappear. So this is all the logic for this little button. So imagine you have a project where you want to use this button a lot, like 10 times or something. So it's really inefficient if you copy paste this button all around your patch and you want to make a change and then you have to make the change at all the 10 instances of all those copy pastes and so on. So now you can create your own operators uh, with sub patch ops. So how do you do that? I just select all my stuff here and click this new button, create op from selection. Now you see it's now in one sub patch as before and, and uh, but it's now a sub patch op you see it has its own namespace so it really is uh, its own operator so i can go into here and um, uh, i can save it and you see all the operators we had before are now inside here so i can just create another one and um, transform this so we see it really and they're not overlapping anymore so you see i created a second button now which is super uh, handy so um now they both say hello diff which is a bit boring so uh, i want to change this so i go into one of the uh, operators and now i can create a new port so i want to uh, expose this text input so the title thing so i can drag this port to the input and select create sub patch port so when i do this and i will save it and then you see i created this port here so i can now click this and say hello and the second instance you see is still the hello diff so i can see here button two so and then I can just create more and more buttons of this and, and, and this is super handy. So also if you have a more complex um, uh, setup with the ports, you can, you can click this little manage operator button here and uh, sorry, I have to go to the op itself, click this button. And then you see we have a, a configuration for the ports here. So I can move them around. So you see they switch now. Uh, I can click here and create a new number, whatever, number port, and then it will add a number port. And so this way you can create uh, input and output ports uh, for your operators. Um, yeah, so so this is how you create sub patch ops. So, so this button, it's super handy, but right now I can only use this in this current um, patch. So. Uh, we can go to the op page uh, right now. So I click the documentation link and then you see all the information about this uh, this operator and you see I use it in one patch. Um, um, but because you can see here on visibility, it's a patch of its visibility. Uh, it's visible in one patch only. Um, if I want to use this in other patches, I have to rename it so that it has another namespace and not ops patch and then the patch ID. Um, so I can click here, rename, and then I can rename it. So for example, I can put it in my user namespace. So then I could use this operator in all my patches, or I can say, I will add this operator to a team. So everybody in this team can now um, use this operator in all the team projects or maybe also um, they can also edit it if they have right uh, access to the to this operator so this is how you can create a new op by patching and then share it with your team members and then everybody can use it um, yeah this is I guess the most important 
stuff about the sub patch ops. Um, please use them. Please try them. Please give us feedback how, how you like them. Or maybe if you create your own operators and you want to share them, share them on the Discord and let us know. Thank you very much.